We're going to start talking about Chelsea and their gaffer. Richard Pochettino has been speaking ahead of his side's match against West Ham. What a big game that is on Sunday. He said it shows how big Chelsea are with so many players choosing them over other clubs. Well, that is about the player decision. It's a player decision that uh, they decide to come to, to come here. I think it's not a wasn't a competition. It was a player decision to to join us. That make us very happy, and they talk very highly about the about our our owners and our sporting director in in what in the way that they work and and try to you know to to earn the the target. And then the player is because the player wanted to come here, and and because I think they are feeling something special. I hope I hope they are feeling something special outside of the club that they say something uh, good is is happen here. No? Uh, what do you make, firstly, of the fact that uh, Romeo Leva has signed for Chelsea? He joins, I would imagine, it's going to be Casado, of course, and Enzo Fernandez will make up that midfield three. Good midfield three. If, if he, I mean, Lavi's only, what is he, 19? Yeah. I doubt they'll thrust him straight. But either way, that's okay. But either way, that's mm. probably where they're going with that. Yeah, for Chelsea, it's a massive positive because you're right there um, up against Liverpool, who have been better than Chelsea of late, you'd have to say. I know last season, again, Liverpool finished higher than Chelsea. Um, but again, I'm t- and I've said it before. Like I, I lived in Newcastle. I loved it. But a lot of players would prefer to live in London. Now, the, if you look at where the two sides are, yes, last season was bad for both sides. Liverpool is a much bigger side in, in terms of history. But in recent times, Premier League, go Premier League era, mm-hmm. Chelsea have been more successful, haven't they? Mm-hmm. By by some distance. Yeah. So it's almost one of them where I think, okay. It's a flip of a coin, I believe. And I think it does come down to, when you look at two clubs of that stature, I genuinely believe it comes down to, um, A, the managers. Well, Klopp's a better manager than Pochettino. That's just a fact. And then it also comes down to location. Where's your family going to be happiest? I think there's one other factor as well. Length of contract. Yeah, eight years. But then sometimes eight years is a eight years is a good one, I guess, if things are going badly. Because then you've always got the security. Mm-hmm. But if you're flying... And then some like Real Madrid come for Lavia in a couple and of years' time. And you've got four years left. And, no, no. And you've got six years left. Right. And you, he goes, I want to go. They'll just go, well, no, you've got six years left. Do you know what I mean? So that's where it can work okay. against you. Good but point. I do think when when you have two clubs that are huge, I think part of the, a part and factor must be, obviously, it was in Southampton, they're down south, not too far away from London. I honestly genuinely think sometimes London has a lot to do with it, especially for, it for foreign players. Mm. And their families, I think London has a lot to do with it. So their midfielders, I said, it would be, it would be Lave, Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, that's that's pretty powerful. Very good. Right. Uh, Liverpool's would be McAllister, Saboslai and Endo, their new yeah. player. Or maybe Thiago when he's back. West Ham, I think West Ham's pretty uh, impressive. It would be Paqueta, Alvarez and, well, Paque- J- and James Wall prowse so On paper, that's all right. But it's where's pa- Paqueta's head going to be at. Yeah. He's got a chance to go to the best team in the world. That's a fact now. And if he doesn't get that move, is he going to be one of them? And I don't know him. So West Ham players, fans will be able to answer it better. Is he going to be one of them players that he doesn't get the, the move and go, do you know what? I'm going to knuckle down here, dig my heels in and, and, and try and get the move next year. Mm-hmm. Or is he going to be one of them that's going to be like, brilliant. I could have I could have been there at yeah. City. Yeah, but currently, if, that's, if, he, if he does play to his potential, I mean, he's an excellent player, right? That's why Man City are interested in. Yeah. That, I think that's pretty good. City have got, of course, Rod- well, got an abundance. Rodri, Kovacic, Kevin De Bruyne. But I think Bernardo Silva's in there. Foden, I mean, that's yeah, a th- I think theirs is probably the strongest. Uh, your your team, Arsenal. <laughs> party. Pa- party, Rice and Odegaard. Oh, that is up there. Bruno, Casemiro and Mount is Manchester United. Ugh. Uh, no? Ours is better than yours. Uh, okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Spur- Paul Hawksby said, what about Spurs? Benton Kerr, uh, Bissouma and Madison. Do you know what? That's decent, you know. That is good, isn't that, it? If, if Basuma gets a run of games like he should do, yeah. that's very good. Tonali, um, Gimaresh, and I think Joe Linton will make up Newcastle's. Yeah, that's decent. So who's got the best front three? What oh, sorry, it? midfield three. Hmm. I mean, Newcastle's is decent. Mm-hmm. I like Arsenal's. I still think Manchester City's is the one to beat. Yeah, because they've got... De Bruyne and Rodri. Yeah. Two of the best in that position. That's right, they are. And then they can throw in a... Where, where do you think Liverpool's comes in that list? I think Arsenal's is better. Arsenal's is better than Liverpool. Yep. Partly Rice Odegaard, yep. better than Lavia, Caicedo. Well, Lavia's, and, Lavia's at Chelsea. Oh, sorry, sorry. Who did you say you think Arsenal's think, is better I think than? Liverpool's. Yeah, I'd agree with you. Well, only because we don't really know too much about Endo yet, right? Yeah, it, still, it, Arsenal's if... last season. And, and they've added Rice. Odegaard got 15 goals last season, which yeah, is unbelievable. Yeah, but Partly towards the end of the season, he's formed dip. In- injured. Yeah, but when he was playing, he's formed dip. No, yeah, because he was injured. All right, okay. So, but he, okay, for three quarters of the season, though. Yeah, no, it's an excellent. They're all excellent, yeah. right? 
There's not there's not one that I've read out and you go, no. Do you know what? There's something really spicy though about about um Newcastle's. Yeah, I agree with you. Like something like Tana- We're gonna talk Newcastle in the, in Tana- the second Tana- hour. Gamera's, Joe Linton. Yeah. But but Chelsea's I mean if I you think look, I think it's the width that's the problem with them. But we'll I, talk about that a bit later on. Yeah, so listen, they're all they're very good. Okay. Talk sport drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.